Got one, man? Hey, there's one, Larry. Ah, this has got a little weight to it. All right. Big whitey. Hi, I'm Matt Pachanich. Today at Midwest Outdoors, Larry Smith and I and a group of guys are out on Petewell. We're gonna go after a smorgasbord of fish. White bass, walleyes, catfish, and hopefully some big crappies. There we go. Boy, I tell you, it is very interesting to see how sluggish some fish are this morning. But we just came off of a low pressure here, and it's just, the barometer's just, there's a nice crappie. The barometer's just starting to come up. And on this body of water, it's the second largest lake in the state here, Pete. Well, very stained system, so the sun is everything. And it's a banker's bite. Nine to three, normally. Oh, there's one, Larry. Got one? Oh, this one feels good. Come on, man. Let's see a oh, crappie. Nice, nice. Boy, those white bass are oh, fun oh, to catch. Bigly. What these fish are doing right now is they're laying real tight to the bottom. They got a couple of these fish that we caught actually had mud on their bellies. And one, one slick technique that Larry just showed, told me to do was is pound that little cast master on the bottom a couple times and then reel it up real slow and get those fish to start chasing it and then keep reeling, keep reeling. And, these fish, are, these fish are laying on the bottom, and you're, we are catching them five, six, seven feet off the bottom. It's an awesome technique once you, once you figure out what these, what's, what's triggering these fish today. There we go. Boy, I tell you, that new ca carbon fiber rods by Beaver Dam, they are smooth. Well, there we go. For Pete and Will, not the biggest crappie right here, but there is a lot of crappies in that 14, 15 inch range, but a good eater right there. Got him on the cast master with a few spikes suspended at about three feet off the bottom. Oh, there's one. Got one, Matt? Yeah, that one was up high. Oh, nice crappie, Larry. Oh, that's a nice there's crappie. There's a dandy. That's what we came for today. Nice job. And with these, cra these crappies are all three, four feet off the bottom, and I actually, when that spoon was fluttering down, I stopped it right above that fish, and I just held it right there, and he came up and just smacked it. And what I'm using right here, this is this, this is the new little 124th cast master. It's brand new on the market. We, we specifically designed this spoon for crappies. And I'm tipping it with a couple little spikes and a little piece of pork. And the reason why I like to go with, with both of those combinations on the bottom of the spoon is that pork is always going to stay on there. So if I'm shaking it real aggressive and a fish swipes at it and misses it, it's going to stay on there even if I lose my spike. So I got a little piece of meat on the bottom there. There we go. <laughs> I was marking that one about well, four feet off the bottom, a little bit higher, and he came rushing right up to it. There's a nice crappie, decent crappie again on that gold cast master. And he just inhaled that one, I'll tell you that. We're fishing right now, I'm in 21 foot of water, and most of the crappies are coming about 16 foot. And when I'm seeing them, and they're above me, what I do is I quick race up above them about a foot and a half, and, and I'm jigging it real light, and they'll come up to it, and I'll pause it for a split second. If they don't hit it, I'll, I'll jig it again about two or three times, and I'll bring it up a little bit, pull it away from a little bit, and that usually gets them to trigger, trigger just like that one. <laughs> it's a little harder when you got gloves on. Nice fish. Now that's a nice crappie anywhere right there. Gotta love that. Again, on the cast master. You know, the key to fishing most fish, especially crappies, is you always want to stay above them. You see where their eyes are positioned. And another key thing is that when a crappie hits, most of the time, instead of pushing down on the rod, he pushes up on it. And they, they bump that bait up. And when you see that line go slack a little bit, that's when you set the hook. <laughs> I seen him on the hummingbird. Come right there he is. Oh, there's a double, Larry. Got one, man? Yep. That's oh, a nice man. crappie. School moved in there, boy. My craft lit up. Let's see who's is nicer. Oh. Come on. Oh, Hang on. Don't you. Let's see. I think they're pretty comparable. Look at that. Jeez. That is awesome. I tell you, Matt, you know, the unique action of that cast master, I think myself makes a big difference, especially on these days when the fishing's a little bit tougher. You know, like I was saying earlier, this bite is always better because of the tannic water when it's sunny. And when you get these cloudy days, you really have to dial things in just right. This winter, we have a whole new series of cast masters, glow blue, glow red, UV, and different golds and, and chromes. Check it out. It's going to be available throughout the whole Midwest. It's an awesome ice fishing spoon. I'm Matt Pachanich, the Midwest Outdoors will be right back.